You already know what time it is. It's the messenger of God here. Coming to drop one for y'all today. Um, hey y'all. Ever since I've been on this fast, I've been feeling mighty different. You know, it's like it's a sense of urgency, but yet I feel like at peace, you know, in some type of way. Um, it's like I feel like, like brand new you know, all over again, you know, since I've been fasting, I, I feel really different. And, um, the, the fast I, I'm doing, I'm just drinking liquids. I've been just on a liquid diet. Um, I, I don't eat anything. I don't snack on anything or nothing like that. So just, just been drinking fluids, but, um, make sure that you still take your vitamins and stuff like that. So that way you can still get your nutrition. Don't just fast even on a liquid diet without having some type of uh, uh, vitamins or vitamin C or anything like that. Okay, let's get into it, y'all. Um, also, man, last time that I spoke, it, it really touched me, y'all. Y'all just don't understand because, um, like I said, if you don't see what's going on, I'm telling you, 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 you better see what's going on because God's been giving us all these warnings and... um. Like I said, he touched me to, to speak that day. And um, if you don't notice, you know, just like the 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 signs that he gave uh, Noah when he told him it was going to rain. And I told you, you better get ready. And if if you guys don't don't pay attention, you know, the same things is going to happen again. And then look at us now. We have a, a tsunami warning here in the West Coast in California. So y'all better pay attention. All right. Keep your eyes open and make sure I'm I'm telling you, you better get yourself together. All right. But um today I'm gonna bring something for y'all today called freedom. And this right here is called freedom. Okay. Um I was inspired by God to write this and also um I wrote this in twenty twelve, but I'm gonna dedicate this one right now for um tribute this to Martin Luther King here. So listen up, it's called freedom. Freedom, free from bondage, free from evil, free from bad thoughts, freedom from myself. I want to be more like him. I trust you. I can follow you. You are my healer. When I'm going through, you rescue me, Lord. Freedom from all hurt, harm, and danger. You save me. Free from negativity, the alcohol, the smoke. You took these things from me to free me from dying, free from disbelieving, to step out on faith and claim it. Give my situation to you and you'll fix it. Freedom from worrying. Just take one step and you will take another. I love you, Lord Jesus, for you are a conqueror, free from stress, free from anxiety. These are some of the things you have done for me. Freedom, free to call your name, Jesus. I am not afraid, Jesus. No one loved me like you do, Jesus. I worship you, Jesus. Free from looking back. Free from putting myself down. Freedom. So I'm not giving up. I threw my hands in the air, dropped down on my knees, and called your name, Jesus. I know I made mistakes. I'm imperfect, Lord. Give me grace. Give me your word, Jesus, to testify and to give to the people hope you gave to me. Freedom. Freedom of speech to matter. To be a blessing in your name, Jesus. I surrender to you, Lord Jesus. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Jesus. Please remember me. I want to go with you when you come. Freedom. It wouldn't be possible if I didn't have you. That's why I will never give up on you, Jesus. It is power in your name, Jesus. And I am free. I shall take a stand. I don't have to be president, but I need to be heard to reach more people. You've held your hand to free to raise my voice. Speak in your behalf. I am here, Lord. I will not fail you. I look to the heavens up above. I free my mind and thought, knowing you will give me what to say when necessary. And that's freedom. That's a feeling I want to have. A bond that can never be broken. A place no one can create. Freedom. Curses are broken. Use my vessel. Quiet the storm. Come in like a thief in the night and free my soul. Call him and he will come inside and restore all the blessings. Keep you when you feel lost and discouraged. He's been good to me. That's why I want to share this freedom with you. Free yourself. Let go and let God have a more promising life. 
Get out of the situation you are in. Tell God what you want and he will answer. When all things get rough and it seems like no way out, he will come through and open the door. Bust through like a roaring rapid. I'm sharing this with you because without him, I wouldn't know what to do. It doesn't matter if you don't have a religion. It doesn't matter what type of religion you, you're in or believe. Just know you are going to need someone to call on. You are going to go through some things and wonder how are you going to make it. You're not going to have anyone to understand you will all have turned their backs on you the doctor said you weren't gonna make it you might lose someone close to you and wonder why lord sometimes you might not want to be here but let me tell you there is hope there is power in the name jesus he took me through everything i couldn't imagine going through and he gave me peace once again freedom able to live again, able to come out and let go, cry out loud and deliver me. Once you give him the problem, he will take care of you. He won't put more on you than you can bear. You have to know when to surrender. You have to know when to let him have his way. You have to pray, not only when you need something, but to acknowledge him. Let him know that he is an awesome God. Give him the praise. Don't be scared to lift him up wherever you are. Freedom. God will remove all misery and grief. He's beyond life and he gave us this life to walk upon earth, to tell about his work and who died and who he died for. There is no one like him. When you have lost everything, when you have lost everything, including your own self, God wants you to be able to be thought of and to leave behind his word so others can follow. Carry on his word and give somebody else the strength to live by. I leave with you freedom. I want to be able to break barriers and these shackles you are held down by so that you can walk away knowing that you are free, free at last, freedom. And y'all, I just wanted to bring that for y'all today. And I wanted to tribute that for Martin Luther King's birthday because he said, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty. We are free at last. So y'all let freedom ring. This is what God wants us to do is to love one another and carry this on, y'all. I love y'all, okay? I have some scriptures that I want to give y'all. I don't have that much time to go through them all, but Galatians 5 and 1, Isaiah 61 and 1, Luke 4, 18 and 19, Romans 8, 31 and 32. Um, I have John... 8 and 36 and Romans 6, 22 and 23. Like I said, if no one told you that you're beautiful today, remember that you are just the way that you are. And I love y'all, all right? So be good out there and y'all keep your eyes peeled and make sure that you, um, y'all, y'all prepare yourselves. I mean, y'all got to wake up, all right? I love y'all. Take care of yourself. All right, later.